Hello, welcome to Software Test Automation YouTube channel. Hello, in last video we have learned how to install the IntelliJ IDEA on Windows operating system. So today uh, we will see how to create a Java project and configure the Selenium web driver. So this is my IntelliJ IDEA. See so here to create a new project I will go to file, new and click on projects. So here you will get a different options. Java, Naval, Gradle. If some options are missing for you, you need to install that plugin in the IntelliJ IDEA. Okay. So anyway, like we don't need all these things as of now. So currently we will be creating a simple Java project. Click on Java. On the right side, project testing, there should be one Java SDK should be available. If it is not present, you will click on this and you will download the JDK because for Java project, the JDK should be there configured in a IntelliJ idea. If it is showing some version, that's fine. I am using 18. So now click on next. Again, click on next. Give the project name. I'll give Selenium Web Driver Demo. And this is the location where the project will get created. If you want to change this location, you can change it and click on finish so you will get this window so if you select first option this window uh, it will just uh, open this in current window and if you select second option it will open a new window because already i have some other project open i will select this window and you can see the project is open here so this is a java project and inside java project i have src folder Okay, so now this is a simple Java project. Inside that, I will right click on SRC, new package. So I will create one package, Selenium Basics. You can give any name, it should be in lowercase as per the Java standards. So package is nothing but a folder to separate your test cases or your uh, programs. Inside this, I will create a one uh, class, you can name it anything. I will name it as TC01 launch Chrome browser. Click on OK. So, normal Java class is created. So, this is my class name and this class is a public. How you run the Java uh, class? So, Java class should have a main method. So, I am going to create here one main method called public static wide main strings, args and that's it. So inside this one to test if it is working or not, I will write one statement system.out.println. I'll write here, welcome to soft test automation. Okay. And to test if it is working or not, simply you can right click on this file anywhere and click on run option. At the bottom side, you will see the progress. Your this program is started executing. It will take few seconds, and you will see the output also. You can see uh, below you have run, and here we got a message: "Welcome to soft test automation." So your Java is working fine. Now I want to uh, use the Selenium WebDriver code to launch a Chrome browser. So for that, we need uh, two things. Okay. So first one is we need a browser driver exe. So for each browser, let's say if you want to run your test in Chrome browser, you need a Chrome driver exe. If you want to run in Firefox, you need a Geekko driver exe. If you want to run your program in Edge browser, you need a Edge driver exe. So based on the browser, there are different exes are available. That exe we need, and to use the Selenium classes, we need a uh, selenium jar files. These two things we need. So now I will download these two things from the Selenium official website. I will give those links in this video description also. So go to the browser, type here selenium, go to first link which is selenium.dev, go to download section. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see the selenium client and web driver language binding. So this is nothing but a Selenium web driver jar files. So as you know, Selenium support multiple languages. So based on which language you are using, you will download the 
stable latest version. You can see for Java it is 4.4.0 is available. So you can download this also or if you want older version which will be the uh, stable one again. So that for that you can scroll down you will find previous releases. Click on this releases. I will take the version which is 3. Dot, and you can see here 3.141.59. Inside that we have multiple files. So which one we should download? We have to download this one. Selenium Java and version.zip. Okay. So I will download this folder. So this is the zip folder. So these are the Selenium jars. Now next I need a Chrome driver also. Right. For that one I will just go to the Google and type Chrome driver download. Here you will get a first link, open that. Here, uh, here the current releases are available for Chrome driver. So your Chrome driver should match with your Chrome version. Okay. So first you will go to your Chrome browser. So this is my Chrome browser. On the top right, I have three dots. Click on it. Go to help and click on about Google Chrome. So here if you see for me, it is a 104 version. So here also I will download this 104. Inside that we have different Chrome drivers available for Linux, Mac and Windows. I will download Win32, it is for Windows. That's it. So I have downloaded Chrome driver and Selenium jars. So what is the next step? We need to extract both the folders. So right click, extract, extract. Then this is it extracted. Similarly, do for Selenium Java jar file also. Extract all and click on extract. Once both the files are extracted, first take a Chrome driver. This is the exe file. You can copy it. Go to your project. Click on project name and press Ctrl V to paste it. Click on OK. So you can see your Chrome driver is pasted here. Now we need to set the path for this Chrome driver exe. So how we can do that? We will write system dot set property. The first parameter will take it take a two parameter. Okay. The first parameter is a which driver we are using. So there is a some specific string we need to pass in a lower case. So I will type here web driver Chrome dot driver. Don't do any spelling mistake. It should be as it is for Chrome. For Firefox, it will be webdriver.gecko.driver. For Edge, it will be webdriver.edge.driver. Okay. And second is the path of this Chrome driver.exe. So you can just right click on this Chrome exe, open in Explorer. So it will just open this path. You can type here Chrome driver.exe, copy this path. And here you will paste it. Okay. So once you paste it, your Chrome driver exe is configured successfully. Now we need to create a Chrome browser or Chrome browser instance. Okay. So I will write here create Chrome instance. How to do that? We need to create use the web driver interface but as you see it is showing red color because it is not able to find this interface because we have not yet added the jar files for the selenium web driver now i will go to my download folder where i have extracted this chrome jar files so in this i have lib folder this change log some jar files so we need only jar files so i will go to lib cut all these jar files come back and paste here and delete the lib folder. I just copied all the jar file in one place. Again, these other files which are not jar are not required. I will delete those. Now this is the set available. Okay. Copy this location. Go to IntelliJ IDEA. Click on your project name. Go to file. Project settings. Go to libraries. Click on plus icon. Java. And here you will paste that location. So you will see this directly where you have this jar files project expanded. Select all the jar files by pressing the control key on keyboard. Just keep it pressed and select OK. So that's how we have imported all the jar files. Now click on apply and OK. 
okay so once you add this jar files it will get added under this external libraries so you can see this 18 is uh, this java jar files are by default get added and this one is for selenium which we just added now if i just write web driver driver equal to new chrome driver okay and now we will be able to import this web drivers just mouse over here and you will get a import class option select it and if you see it it is coming from this jar files which are added here okay now once we create a chrome driver instance we can uh, open a application open application so for that i will write the code driver dot get and inside this uh, double quote we need to pass the url so i will pass the url here soft test automation dot com so this will open a browser after that i want to maximize the browser so to maximize the browser we will use driver dot manage dot window dot maximize it will maximize the browser and finally i want to close the browser so to close the browser we can use driver dot close or another method is driver dot quit so what is the difference between driver dot close driver dot close will close the current tab and driver dot quit will close all the tabs okay so i will just keep the second one i want to close all the tabs which are open so this will uh, this will run your chrome browser and it will open this website it will maximize and it will close but it will it will happen in very quickly so if you want to uh, see the output you can put some wait here 10 second so in java there is a uh, class called thread dot sleep and we can put the time in millisecond here to wait for 10 second so this uh, this throws the exception also so we need to add a exception you can see it will get added here throws automatically control save right click on your project click on run and in few seconds it will launch the chrome browser and you will see the output So you can see the Chrome was started successfully. It opened a browser. It navigated to website. Maximize. It is waiting for 10 seconds. And then it will close. So here I have given the links for YouTube channel and all this. Okay. So you can see it launched successfully and it closed the browser. So thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to get latest video updates.